Tributes to God's General, Pastor Julius Ademola Olabiye, fondly referred to as Baba Olabiye, Baba Olabiye, a rare gem. A one-man battalion, strong and energetic, even at old age, full of faith, a man of prayer, a father of fathers. My father, Baba Ami, not Baba, Baba Timbalu Riyomo. My friend and intercessor, an irony you may say, but that is the truth. A friend to a child like me. The Holy Spirit brought us together and we were needed. I cannot forget your stories of wisdom and passion for God. I have met old men in my life. This one stood out. Holding my hands up, whether present or absent in prayer, unto the Father of all flesh. He will not turn back. He will not rest until the will of God is done in my life, in my family. I had always seen him afar off as a child while growing in the church. Met him when he was transferred to Ifako area, my den assembly. Twice he was revealed in a vision of the night. Yes, twice. First, was when he was in charge of Ifako area, it was in the year he was to be moved 
from that location to another. I heard, we want to take you home. Are you ready? He responded, and in his own word, Otiya, Muti Shetan, meaning he was willing and ready. Baba didn't go home. He was only moved. He remained strong and vibrant. The second encounter was in the year 2016. The enemy had dug a pit for me, but I saw Baba, who hid the evidence the enemy could have used and only showed me where he kept it, where he hid it. People searched for the evidence to no avail because an intercessor stood in the gap. What more can I say like prophet Elisha of old said, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof. So he saw him no more. The word of God says. Then it happened, 2 Kings chapter 2, verses 11 and 12. Then it happened as they continued on and talked, that suddenly a chariot of fire appeared with horses of fire and separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it. And he cried out, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and its horsemen. So he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and tore them into two pieces. But this daughter of Elisha didn't see the chariots coming. I awoke as usual, only to the root shock of the news that the chariot of fire had taken him. I asked, Holy Spirit, not even a hint? He answered, I hinted you. You remember? Then I remember the third revelation last year and my prayer. If it remains a minute or a day for my father to fall or miss it, dear Lord, please take him. Had I a chance to make request before your departure, I would have asked for seven portions of your prophetic anointing. Seven times seven of the spirit of prayer and an ocean full of tolerance, perseverance, and unwavering determination to make heaven. David cried, how are the mighty fallen and the weapon of war perish? Those mighty did not fall. He didn't fail. He didn't miss it. He was not corrupted. He fought. He conquered. His weapon of war also live on. His works speak. His torch made indelible marks in the sand of time and hearts of men. Grave had no victory on him. Death had no sting. Glorified. Hallelujah. My prayer is that the Lord will comfort the family, all spiritual children and visit his church and that the lord will appear as a refiner fire and a fuller soap sit upon the sons of levi and porch them as gold and silver so they may offer the lord to the lord an offering in righteousness good night baba till we meet at jesus feet baba,
from my family to the God's general pastor Julius Ademola Olabi he was such a humble man gentle and a loyal servant of God yet a giant in ways that took nothing for himself and gave God all the praise a brave soldier for God, faithful by nature, a powerful man whose heart was directed by God's own hand. He ministered to the world as a true prophet of God, offering hope and sweet grace, good news of the gospel into every place. His message was of salvation, holiness, and heaven to all who receive Jesus by faith. He missed no words, calling sin by his name. The Bible was